Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Today I want to show you how to send a video email from your Mac. So I just came back from the New Media Expo in Las Vegas. And of course they are surrounded by all sorts of video equipment and people talking about the future of video on the internet. I wanted to send an email home. But I thought, wait a minute, why am I sending an email with text in it? Shouldn't I be sending video at this point? So I thought, well, on a Mac maybe it's easier than I think. So I looked into how I could send video email from my Mac and it turned out it was very easy. So of course I could have recorded video and edited it like I do this podcast, but I just want to send a quick email. So I thought, is there a program that can allow me to record video very quickly and send it as an email? QuickTime Pro came to mind, but not everybody has QuickTime Pro and I wanted a simpler solution. iMovie, but then you have to go through a bunch of steps of creating a movie and then exporting it. So I thought, maybe Photo Booth can do this. So I opened up Photo Booth. And sure enough, you can do exactly this. Now to do this in Photo Booth is pretty easy. All you need to do is switch from the photo mode down here to the video mode. You get a video icon, you click it and you get a countdown. And then you record your message. Hi, this is a test video email. Press it again and it gets added to your little library down here. Click on it and it will play it back Hi, this is a test video email. Now that you have it selected, you can click on the email button over here and it will launch mail and attach the video into a new message. There it is. I just typed the to and the subject and I've got my video email. So that's all you need to do to send an email from Photo Booth with a video in it. It's very easy. But the disadvantage is the file is huge. It doesn't do any special compression. So in my case I ended up with a 640-480 video in H.264 but it still took just under a meg for four seconds of video. If I wanted to record a longer message it would be huge. So I wouldn't recommend sending these video emails to anybody unless they have a very fast broadband connection. Now alternatively you can go ahead and recompress this movie. If you select it in Photo Booth and do Command R to find the original file you can then open up in another program. I can do it in QuickTime Pro for instance. You might have to do it in iMovie if you don't have QuickTime Pro. iMovie is going to be a little harder because you're actually going to have to construct a movie with just that one clip and then export it. You can also use another program like FFmpegX for better compression. I sent it as a 320 by 240 H.264 movie and I lowered the bit rate to only 100 kilobits per second which I think was fine for a little video email message. I also took the audio and set that to AAC which is equivalent to MP3 at 32 kilobits per second. So I ended up with only a 64K video file which is very acceptable for my 4 second video. But that was a lot of extra steps. Alternatively you could have recorded directly in QuickTime Pro or iMovie and taken the few extra steps at that point to export a more compact movie. Now I hope that in future versions of Photo Booth there will be some sort of way to automatically compact your movie into say a preset email format which would be similar to what I used. What would be even be cooler is if there was an add video option in mail. And then you could just select that menu item, record a quick little video, it compresses it to a very small size or maybe something in your preferences and you've got a video email. But until then the photo booth option is a pretty good one. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.